What's wrong, Crovin? Why the face? Do you know that man? Who? The man in the fancy suit. Not really. Well, he's that railway inspector that Topham was talking about. What? He's already here. It's his first day, I believe. I thought he wasn't due for at least another week. I was caught completely off guard when he stepped on at Barrow. How could you know what he looked like? I've seen him before. He once came to my former section. A rather highly regarded inspector from what I've been told, with his very special suit being his trademark. Hmm, that's interesting. But if he's one of the higher ranked ones, then that could mean he is quite stern when it comes to his work. That sounds more or less correct from what I've heard about him, which is why I gave a worried look. I see. Well, I think Topham will probably give us some instructions tonight. I hope so. Welcome to the railway, Mr. Gales. How was your trip here? It was very pleasant. That Atlantic of yours is in quite good condition. In fact, I recognize him. Really? How so? Oh, it goes back a few years ago, back when he was working in Scotland. I had a visit to his section to carry out an inspection, and I eventually examined a train pulled by him. Quite a hard worker, I've heard. You're lucky to have gotten your hands on him. And I will say, in comparison to my previous run on him, this one was actually better than that. Well, that's already a good start. However, there is already one thing I would like to comment on. Go on. Don't worry, it has nothing to do with Crowen. At least, not directly. What do you mean? Well, I had a look at your timetable when I traveled here, and it was a little awkward for me to time it with my arrival, since you don't seem to operate express trains that frequently. It's not the services themselves, since they're top-notch, but rather the frequency of them. Well, that's more or less the best I can do with my current roster. Why not try a lighter service? One that can easily fill slots in the schedule. I've been considering running a lighter version of the Wild Nor'wester, but I don't really have any locomotives that match the requirements. None at all. Well, Edward is really the only one who fits the mark, but he has retired himself from running express trains and now resides on one of our branch lines. And that branch can't do without him. I see. But why haven't you then just invested in some new locomotives for it? I just don't know if it makes sense to do it. Especially during these times. Money is tighter now, so investing in something new might be risky. Well, then, allow me to show you something. What is this? This is the results of a line in the Midlands where they had the exact same problem. They did end up adding a lot of express service which ran more frequently, and as you can see here, the results speak for themselves. Hmm, that's quite an increase. Are you sure that it would also work here? I'd say it's at least worth the attempt. You can start off small, with just a slight increase in frequency, then see if the results are anything worth investing in. You know, maybe you have a point. Perhaps it's just best to at least give it a try. I'll look into it. Very well. It is up to you after all. And this wasn't me scolding you or anything. I fully understand your reasoning for not trying during these times. Thank you, Mr. Gales. But I think I've already made up my mind. Thank you for the delivery, Henry. No problem. Now, I'm a little curious about my next assignment, since the schedule only says that it's a special rig. Hmm, I don't know why it was put like that. But if you could just make your way around to the entrance of the works, then we can talk further. Very well.
Oh, that was unexpected. What are these for? These represent a major step in the development of the works, or redevelopment I guess, which is the construction of railway rolling stock. And although these are very similar to the ones you already have in your roster, they have been tweaked for better performance and comfort for your passengers. Wait, these are for us? Oh yes, they were commissioned by Topham for a new express service that he's working on establishing. Very interesting. Where am I to take these? Titmouth. Right, I'll get ready. Well, these are certainly nice to pull. Hello, Henry. Hello, Reginald. I see that we have some new coaches to add to our roster. Yeah, apparently. I must admit, I wasn't really told of such an arrangement. Neither was I. I also thought we had enough express coaches for our services. Which we do for our current services, but these coaches aren't for those. What do you mean, sir? These coaches. Thank you, Henry, by the way, for delivering them. No problem, sir. These coaches, freshly off the assembly board of the Chrome and Skate Works, to be used on a new express service, which will commence operation soon. A new express service? How very interesting, sir. Yes, indeed. And this one is quite a bit different from the current services that we offer. How so? Well, the Wild Northwester that you, Gordon and Crowen run is a long, heavy express train with one stop at Crowen Skate between here and Barrow. This new service is going to be a light, fast-paced service with an additional stop at Wellsworth. The main idea is that it will be able to fill in the schedule in order to provide the traveling public with more frequent express services. And since the train itself is shorter and lighter than the Wild Northwester, then that means that it's faster at accelerating, thereby allowing for an extra stop. That's the main idea, yes. I see. Well, doesn't sound like a bad idea. Sir, who'll be running that service? I'm currently on the hunt for a new smaller express engine who will fit with the train loads. There are a few options at the moment, but I'm still making my mind up. I'll be traveling to an event next week in London where I'll be able to get a look at a few options to decide on. Very well. Sir, what's the new service going to be called? That's also yet to be decided. But if you have any suggestions at any time, then I would love to hear them. Understood, sir. This is a Caledonian Railway 721, a fine example of an express locomotive. It's definitely one of the better options. I have heard good things about these, but may I see the rest of the stuff before making up my mind? Absolutely, follow me. So, what do you think, sir? I don't know. It's a lot of choices. Well, you may take all the time you like. The event does close in two days, after all. Hmm, what about that one down there? You didn't tell me you had a Claude. Hmm? Oh, yes, we, we also have her. What? Well, she's an engine whose record is rather dull in comparison to the rest of her classmates. 
She's rather shy and quiet, which led to a rather difficult relationship with the crews who operated her. Mind if I take a look at her? Uh, sure. Go for it, sir. Hello there. Oh, hello, sir. What's your name? Molly, sir. On top of is my name. I... I know, sir. You've heard of me, haven't you? Well, practically everybody has. <laughs> I can imagine. Hopefully not in a bad way. I find it surprising that an engine like you is present at this event. Tell me, Molly, what are you doing here? Oh, management on my former section didn't want me. Say that I didn't live up to their expectations. I assume that those expectations were quite high given the status of your class. That's what I got as well. But I imagine that you did perform well on your duties. I tried to, but it apparently wasn't good enough, even though I tried my hardest. Some people have standards that even the best of the best can't satisfy. With your story, I gather that you may lack in experience slightly. Would I be correct with that? More or less. They prefer to use other engines on the express runs, so I was usually used on secondary passenger trains and goods work. I was only called upon in emergency, which was a rare occurrence. I see. Where did you work? Stratford, sir. Are you a big fan of the busy nature of the capital? Not really, sir. It feels too overwhelming. That is understandable. But how would you feel about maybe working on, say, a small island with a main line running in the open nature and where its biggest city is a fraction of the scale of London? Sir, are you considering me to work for your railway? I'm on the lookout for an engine to run a lightweight express service that I'm working on establishing at the moment. I was actually going for a Claude, but I doubted whether or not I would be able to find one. However, the chance is here, and I'm not going to pass on it. If that's alright with you, Molly. Sir, are you sure that I'm fit for it? I sense a lot of potential in you, Molly. It seems like you've just been living in the wrong environment, and I imagine that with proper training, you'll become a fine express engine. You really think that? Absolutely. Well, I, I would be happy to work on your railway, sir. Th thank you. No problem, Molly. Mr. Nelson, I want this one. The... the Claude? Well, sir, I don't know if that's such a good choice. Mr. Nelson, when my mind is made up, you can't change it. <sighs> Very well. If that's what you wish, I'll go make the arrangements. So the fairness section just got some new additions to the roster. Consisting of what? I believe there was two Fowler 2Ps, another Midland 4F, and a Highland engine of some kind. A Highland engine? What did it look like? I believe it was a 440 and it was non-faceless. Was it big or small? Well, for a 440 I'd say it was quite big. Oh good lord, why did it have to be him? Be who? He's an old colleague of mine. His name is Ben and he's very insufferable. Oh. Well, this'll be fun. Indeed. Whose whistle was that? I don't know. Didn't sound familiar. Hello. Hello. Who are you? I'm um, Molly. I'm here for the new express service. Oh, looks like Topper made his mind up. Welcome to the railway, Molly. Thank you, Mr. Uh... Reginald. And this is Tyler. Hello, Molly. Hello. It's nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you, Molly. So, new express, eh? Well, that's what I've been brought on for. It'll hopefully be alright. I'm sure that it'll be great, Molly. Oh, hello, sir. Hello, Reginald. Yes, I did make up my mind. Molly will be the engine hauling the new light express service. About that, sir. Now that you have Molly here, are we more sure about when the service is going to commence operation? About a month from now. No exact date yet, but we'll use that time to do trial runs with the coaches and see if the whole concept even works. 
Now Molly said to me that she lacked slightly in experience when it comes to express services, so she'll also use those trials as practice. Molly? Crovin? Oh, it is you, Molly. What a lovely surprise. How are you? Well, much better from seeing you. <laughs> well, I sense something here. I can imagine that you two worked together before. Yes, we did, sir. I worked with her at Stratford after being relocated there, where I was to fill in for another engine. We would double-head trains from time to time whenever I was let out to pull express trains. We worked together until Crovin was transferred away with a certain engine who also worked on our section and an engine that I dare not name at the moment. Uh, it had to be him. We were transferred here for trial runs and, well, I was eventually chosen over him and he was sent back. What happened to him afterwards? Well, he briefly returned to our line but was quickly transferred away. From what I gathered, he barely moved in all that time he was back. Serves him right. He moved way too much. Indeed. Such an engine is exactly the type of engine I don't want to be working on my railway. I doubt anybody wants an engine like him. Very true, but enough of that. I was actually contemplating on who was to help Molly with her practice, but it now seems like it would be wise to let you do it, Crovin. I would be more than happy to, sir. Excellent. The first trial run would take place in three days. I want you two to double-head it, so Molly can learn the route. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. <laughs> well, 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 is that all the railway can provide? A small, dated, and underpowered 4 for all. What a joke. I, I'm more powerful than you think, and I bet that I can perform better than you. <laughs> yeah, right. But look at you. Tiny. And power-wise, well, nothing in comparison to me. And the yellow doesn't help. Yellow is a good color. Yellow is a laughable color, which doesn't fit an engine, let alone an express engine. Well, I... It won't be long before you'll be pulled from these small, pointless express trains in favor of locomotives like me. Ben, shut up. Tyler, what an introduction. It's good to see you again. But I'll let you know that this isn't your business. One colleague sticks up for another. If you really were better than Molly, then how come there were over a hundred members of her class 
while there were just two of your quality over quantity. Even when said quality is questionable. Shut up! I perform good and you know it. Don't mind him, Molly. It's kind of hard not to. He doesn't have anything to add to what you know. If anything, you've been doing much better than he's ever done. You learn very quick and is looking very promising. Thanks. I try my best. The service is supposed to commence operation in about two weeks from now. I'm not worried. And you shouldn't be. And if Ben or any other engines make fun of you, let us know. Very well. I'll do that. Hello there. Oh, hello. What's the matter? Uh, it's an engine on the mainland. He doesn't seem to believe in me when it comes to this new train. Does it hurt you? It makes me question the validity of my role here. If I'm the right engine for the task or just a waste. What's your name? Molly. Mine's Edward. Now you see, Molly, I was in a similar situation to you back when this railway first opened. How so? Back in 1915, when this railway was a percentage of what it is today, I was the main express engine for the mainline services. I was the only one who could do those. And while I was doing my trial runs, there was this engine on the mainland who, we'll just say, didn't support the fact that I was the main express engine. Seems very similar to what's going on right now. What happened after? Well, one thing leads to another and said engine broke down. I thought at first it was from a burst safety valve. That was also what the confirmed cause was, however I was later told by the engine's crew that she was perhaps a little puffed in her boiler. What do you mean? Basically, I had apparently made her so annoyed by defending her rather poor attempts at bringing me down. And with her being so annoyed, her fire almost turned into an inferno. Fueled by her anger that someone dare oppose her. Oh, I see. So, wh what am I to do? What I'm getting at, Molly, is that engines that are overconfident and thereby rude to others will always lose in the end. If you can defend yourself for long enough, you're in the clear. But how do I improve on it? Don't worry about that, Molly. You're in good company. The mainline engines are more than happy to help if you want. I think that's a good idea. Thank you, Edward. No problem. Oh, one more thing before I go. Yes? Why aren't you pulling express trains anymore? They told you about me, didn't they? Yes, they did. And I got curious. <sighs> Demands change over time, Molly. While the trains get bigger, I don't. It became too much for me, so after we started out with some bigger express power, I was ready to retire from the fast-paced mainline services. By then, I'd already done those for almost 20 years, and I wanted to slow things down. So, well, now I work here on this lovely branch line, which, much to my disappointment, wasn't as quiet as I'd hoped. But, yeah, I guess you can't have all the nice things. Well, if this service is to go successfully, are you going to run it with me? I have no intent to return to mainland operations at the moment, Molly. And even if I was, I wouldn't be able to keep pace with the schedule. It wouldn't be proper. And I think that's the thing you should bring with you, Molly. Sometimes, you have to accept change, whether it's good or bad. Shape yourself after it, and you'll end up as a better engine. Right, I I'll take that with me, Edward. Thank you. That's alright, Molly. Good luck. Molly, what's the matter? It's Ben. He won't stop. Really? 
Just before I left Barrow today, he went in with another attempt. He tried to emphasize that the LMS was way better than the LNER. Bloody hell. I know we keep saying this, but it especially applies to him. Don't listen to him. I know, but I was saddened by my curiosity. Is, is the LMS really better than the LNER? It depends on how you look at it. Yes, the LMS might be better than the LNER in some cases, but it also applies the other way around. With the LNER being better than the LMS in other cases, it likewise also applies to the other railways. Even the Southern is better than the LMS and the LNER in some cases. Every railway has expertises in one thing that outmatches the others. Well said, Tyler. Now, Molly, I understand your frustrations on the matter. It's very annoying when other engines make fun of you, despite the fact that you're doing a stellar job with your work. However, since they're of someone else's property, I can't really do anything about it in terms of having them moved. It's not possible at the moment, at least not according to the manager. Perhaps I could help with your little predicament, sir. Oh, Mr. Gales. How do you mean? Well, you say that this engine won't stop teasing you, is that right? Yes, sir. Do you happen to know what class said engine is? Uh, some Highland 440 class. It's a Snago class. Ah, the one by Christopher Cumming. Well, that makes this all the more fun. How so? Well, the Barrow section is coincidentally the next section I'll be inspecting following my time here. And I'm scheduled to go with a train which is stated to be pulled by an engine of that exact class. Now, only two members of that class were ever built, and since one of them is still in Scotland at the moment, then the one here can only be the locomotive by the name Ben, an engine who has a questionable reputation when it comes to attitude. Well, you're right about that, sir. Thank you, Tyler. I thought you would know. You used to work with him, didn't you? Yes, sir. And, with this in mind, it might be possible to put his lack of proper attitude to good use. How so? Well, to put it short, according to my data, overconfidence leads to worse performance. So what you're implying is that... It'll just be like any other inspection I do. This conversation here won't have any influence on their results. That's against my duty. All I'm saying is, is that there's still a chance to teach him a lesson. You're a good man, Mr. Gales. The best inspector I've ever had on this railway. Not just for the sake of inspection, but you're a man who knows how to treat engines properly. I appreciate the kind words, sir. I do what is best for any railway I visit. It is my job, after all. And there she is, the banana locomotive, with her pitiful- Um, excuse me. I'll deal with you later. Yes, sir, what can I do for you? A lot, actually. William Gales is the name, Railway Inspector of the HMRI. I believe that I am to follow you on this train so I can get to your manager. Oh, the inspection was this week? I thought it was next. I'm sorry, were you not informed of this arrangement? What? Oh, uh, sorry, uh, forgive me, sir. Uh, yes, I was actually informed of it. And I would be happy to take you to Mr. Viker. Thank you very much. Let's see what you can do, Ben. I'll do my very best. Wait a minute. How do you know my name? I'm a railway inspector. I know a lot of things. What are you laughing at? Nothing. I thought not. You see this, Mr. Viker? Yes, Mr. Gales, I see it. This is unacceptable. Yes. And this came from my little handy tool that measures the ride quality over a run. Yes, I know. And you know the reputation it has. It's well respected. I know. Get on with it. 45%? This train was deemed uncomfortable for 45% of the whole journey. That is unacceptable, Mr. Viker. Yes, it is, Mr. Gales. Now, there could be multiple factors to this. Maybe the coaches have some defects? Not likely, Mr. Viker. I had a chance to analyze the coaches after we arrived, and from what I could see, they were perfectly in line with the standards. Well, it could have also been the track. Mr. Viker, you know that your section was featured in the Countrywide Report last month. Remember what it stated? That... My section was among the best in the LMS. Exactly. Are you implying 
that the results were generated by the locomotive. Well, that's what the data tells us. For crying out loud, I knew I shouldn't have trusted those bloody Highlanders. Hey, don't blame the Scottish, blame the engine. I'm sorry, that came out wrong. I have nothing against the Scottish. I thought not. You know my dad is Scottish. Yes, I know. Good. So what are you gonna do about this? Well, based on this and also some other complaints I got recently about the engine in question, maybe he's better suited on another section. Good idea, Mr. Viker. Good idea. Oh, you're leaving already? What a shame. I thought they had started to like you. They do. I've just not been able to suit my needs on this section. And apparently, management thought the same. I agree with them. What do you know about my needs? Oh, I wasn't talking about performance needs. Just... Attitude. Oh, we're going back to that now. That's about the only thing that there is to talk about you. You really lack a defining character at the moment. Maybe you should work on that. Right, we're ready to roll. Are you? Yes. Very well, we'll get going. This won't be the last time, Tyler. Okay. <sighs> Good riddance. Indeed, he'll not be missed. I guess one has to wonder what they're gonna do about it, now that their roster is limited in size. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Hold up, you said limited? Well, yes, limited in size. Limited? It has a good ring to it, doesn't it? I guess so. What are you getting at? Well, the new train is limited in size. Oh, I get it now. You think it should be called the Limited? I think it has a good ring, given that it also bears a meaning. Hm, true. We should probably tell Topham about it. Indeed.
Wow, that was very impressive. Oh, well, thanks. Sorry, who are you? Oh, my name is Sarah. Molly, are you the replacement for the former engine that was here? Yes, in fact, me and Ben swapped places. Although, I was a bit hesitant with regards to returning to this section. Returning? I've already been here. Long ago, and... Let's just say that I was a different engine back then. Were you that engine who mocked Edward? He told you, didn't he? Yep, I imagined that he would, and I don't blame him. Why did you mock him? Because it was common practice back then. All the newer and bigger express engines had to get it out that they were the newest and best thing that was on the main line. And I just followed it. It's remarkable that Edward apparently didn't do that when he first rolled out. Just shows how different he is. I guess so. But you changed. Well, it was only when the Royal Scots showed up. Until that point, I hadn't been outdone by any express locomotive for a while. I could match the Claudens, and the Fowler 4Ps were really just copies of my design, so we were equals in that regard. But I realized that that mindset didn't hold up with the newer locomotives being introduced, so I gave up on it. I haven't apologized to Edward. Well, not properly, but I heard he now works on a branch line, so I might not be able to say it to him face to face. Would it be possible for you to maybe pass it on? I don't see why not. He might not accept it at first, but I'll do it. Thanks. So, how do you like it here? I can't say for sure. I only arrived yesterday, but so far, I like it. Well, that's good. I doubt that Ben did. He doesn't really like anything. But so far, I'm happy that I got to go here. I'm thankful that I was chosen for the relocation. Who chose you? I did. Oh, hello Mr. Gales. You did? Like I said, it wouldn't have anything to do with the conversation that we had. That was Ben's own fault. I merely did my job. And, well, the results speak for themselves. I guess so. Thank you for all that you've done here, Mr. Gales. Topham has spoken very highly of you since you left. Any chance that you might come back? No plans at the moment, I'm afraid. But, who knows? It might happen soon. One can only hope. Indeed, Molly. I heard that your run went very well. I just wanted to congratulate you on that. Thank you, sir. Although, it might not have been as smooth if it wasn't for your contribution. I appreciate it, Molly. Makes me want to come back. But alas, duty calls again and I'll be leaving shortly. On Sarah's train. Oh, well in that case, goodbye Mr. Gales. Thanks again. No problem, Molly. And Sarah, hopefully you'll find yourself more at home here. I already feel good about this place, sir. That's good to hear. Goodbye, you two. Bye, Bye Mr. Mr. Gales. He's such a good man. Indeed. Among the most respected railway figures in the country. And it's for good reason. He deserves the praise. Yes, indeed. I hope that he acknowledges it. 